Hey guys, in this long tutorial, I'm showing you step by step how to find any component with any computer without searching. So let's say that I want a green LED. I will never have to search all these drawers again. All I have to do is to ask my laptop green LED. So let's type green LED. And this is what I'm looking for. Some good quality green LED. There will be eight parts in this tutorial. In the first part, you will make a binary to this symbol decoder. This will transform the signal coming out of the computer to an LED location. Part two, you will be shown how to make the matrix and connect all the LEDs together. Part three, you will learn how to connect an Arduino used as a master. This chip will make the link between the matrix that we are talking to and the PC. Part 4. You will connect an Arduino slave to each matrix that you will make. These chips will allow you to transform a serial communication from the computer to a parallel one. Part 5. I'm showing you how to upload all the codes that you will need to the Arduino slave and master. Part 6. You will learn how to connect everything that you made together, so you'll have something beautiful like this. Part 7. You will make a general verification to be sure that everything is working properly. And the final part, part 8, you will see your project working properly. Power your circuit with a voltage regulator. Pin 2 is grounded. Pin 3 is your 5 volt. A 0.1 cap is between 2 and 3. Place your 4 to 16 line binary decoder. Power it on. Set the enable pins to a logic 0. Connect the inputs A, B, C, D to 1K resistors. The resistors are then wired to ground. Now place your 3 to 8 lines binary decoder. Power it on. Connect the enable pins to ground. Inputs A, B, C are wired to ground via resistors. Place and power the logic inverser. Connect the decoder's outputs to the inverser's inputs. Place resistors out of the inverser's outputs. Actually, I made two of them for two matrix control. Drill each drawer so we can place an LED. Wire up the horizontal axis. Each row should only have one wire. Same thing for the vertical axis. Each column will only have one long wire. Remove the protection from the XY connections. The IDE cable will make the link between the matrix and the PCB we made. Strip off some protection to solder LEDs. All LEDs are placed and soldered.
had glued two female USB on top. Now connect them together with the same color matching. You will also have to extend wires, so you could relate them later to the circuit. Now let's solder the Arduino's useful pins. Digital pins 6 to 12 are connected as following. Now solder the 5 volt pin with the circuit's power. Ground will go to the circuit's ground. Make sure the USB extension is connected as following. The green USB wire goes to A4, the white one goes to A5, plug the black wire to ground and the red one to 5 volt. The Arduino's ground pin goes to ground and the 5 volt pin goes to positive. Now let's connect our Bluetooth module. VCC goes to 5V, ground goes to ground, TXD is connected to RXD on the Arduino, and RXD goes to TXD. So in this part you have to download the Arduino's interface. So let's start with the master code. Remove the Bluetooth module and upload the code. Just check the description if you want the code. When everything is done, you can replug the Bluetooth. Now upload the slave code. This is how your finished project should look like. Before connecting our project to the PC, we need to verify everything. And of course you can add as many drawers as you want. Let's see if the Arduino Master works. Remove the Bluetooth module. And plug the Master to your PC. Disconnect the Arduino from the drawers. Open the Arduino's interface and let's see if the Arduino replies. The Arduino should reply. Now let's see if the slave receives something from the master. Keep the master plugged in and add the slave.
open the IDE and select the good port. The slave should receive what the master sends. Make the following connections. The location that you write on the Arduino's interface should be seen in the matrix. Add the Bluetooth module to the circuit. Go to New Bluetooth Device and add the detected module. The password is by default 1234. Now open the Arduino's interface. Select the Bluetooth port. Mine, as you see, is on COM15. Try to send data to the master. He should answer. I made a program to communicate with the drawers. The first step is to build the database by adding items to it. You could find this program in the description. After you added all your items, you can now search the matrix and find what you're looking for. So thanks for watching everyone. Uh, please like my new Facebook page and as always, subscribe for more.